Hello, housemates, and welcome back to Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. Uh, we have just finished telling Yuki that we're, we know where the Hengyokai that she is um, uh, looking for is going to be. Uh, so we're going to go meet her. Can I open this door? No. So this is actually the way back into the noodle shop where we got the, um, the eyes in Eye Gouge Hell. So they just keep them, I think, separate by a really hard to lock door. Unlock, excuse me. Okay, so uh, what are the other things we have to do? We have going to meet Yuki and seeing about this Henge Okai. Uh, we have meeting the friend of um, the guy who runs the restaurant whose name I forget. Uh, so he can tell us something about the location of Barabbas. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. So the best way to reach the places that we need to go now by going out this way. Uh, I think this way now. Foo Syndicate. Um, this is the way I want to go. Not it. Ah, here we are. Oh, really? So this is not here before. I mean, obviously they're not actually, there's no model for them actually doing that, but it's exactly what it's meant to look like from afar, for sure. So Zhao's imports, that's where we go, um, for, to learn about Barabbas. Here is where we go meet Yuki. You can see she's standing right there. Let's do uh, this other part first. What's my XP look like? I can't get anything particularly interesting at the moment. Um, so the quest here, unless they've changed it significantly, is one where I don't think there's any other way to get it done than the one way that it's going to get done. So you just got to deal with it. Wong Ho called. Wong Ho. You're looking for someone. Hmm. Um, Yu Zhao? I don't know where your friend is, but I know the Tong are involved. The leader of the Tong, Johnny, he'll know where they are. Okay, and where... No, I'm going to go number two. I'm Remember, I'm getting bitter. Um, oh, and I'm sure he'd love to tell me all about it, right? Johnny's at Glaze. It's his club. You'll need a password to enter. The password is 725. Really? There will be Tom everywhere. What kind of password is that? Johnny's office is upstairs. Okay, uh, thanks. Why are you helping me? I am a man of my word, and I owe the debt to Wong Ho. By paying that debt, I have made an enemy of the Tom, who I once belonged to. Um, what are you going to do now? You should leave now. No, with you! Do you need some help with them? Excuse me. Uh. So, dude got tore up. Um, they will come up here eventually. So, you can sneak out and try to be a little bit proactive. Um, it's possible to sneak out without dealing with them if you have the power and visibility. We do not have such a power. So we're going to lurk dripping blood above them and try and take them on not all at once. Let's see. How do we want to do this? I haven't used blood salvo yet. What's the... How close do they have to be to each other 
for me to get the multiple targeting. And of course, as soon as I blood salvo one of them, they'll all be aware of me. I mean, it's not like we'd have too much trouble dealing with all of them at once. It's just a lot of gunfire, which will wear down on us pretty hard. All right, what are their patrol patterns? I could blood salve all those guys. buff so we can do lots of damage. Zigzagging helps a little bit, but not much. Alright, let's see. Do we have any... I don't know what this ninja star is for. Um, okay, let's see. We don't have any blood in there, even though we've been hacking some people up. We can, of course, move to a little bit of shooting ourselves, should we want to. That might be a good idea for the purpose of thinning them out a bit. Ow, this dude is right in my face. Alright. I need some blood. Oh, I only have my Elder Vitae left. Uh, bummer. Well, fine. That's basically the full power up. Alright, this is not working. I died. Uh. Okay, so I need to find a better way to deal with that. We're gonna have to listen to Tong talk again. Or Zhao, excuse me. Alright, so maybe trying to use firearms would be a better plan. Low job alley. Alright. So we could try and be stealthy about it. Uh, that actually reminds me. There's some stuff up here. Just like random little bits of loot. Uh, I don't think. Hey, I don't think it's anything important. If I remember correctly, uh, it's just a car stereo. Uh, you know, I didn't know. Maybe they put something new up here. Okay. Wong Ho called. So, I think the bottle of morph. Mm. Wait. Why can't I hear anything? I don't know where your Ever. friend is. But I know the Tong are involved. The leader of the Tong. Sounds not working. Johnny, he'll know where they are. Johnny's at Lay's. Okay, well. It is. Yeah, great. Um. I. You should leave. Excuse me. I don't know why. Sound working again? Oh, sorry. Just my headphones had gone off. It wasn't the sound wasn't working. Maybe the battery's running low, so I should plug them in. I have to find the cord. Excuse me. Okay, now this should be charging. Wait, did I lose the sound again? Ugh. Why won't you? 
you work. No. Okay. Uh, continue. So I think the reason why he puts the um, morphine up there is because he's, you know, going to be in a shootout. And he figures some morphine will help him last a little bit longer. Sometimes it takes him a little bit less time to die. Oh, that's an undignified pose to die in. And others. This doesn't seem to be a better idea at all. It is in fact a worse idea. Whatever, come on. Blah, blah, blah. Well, for this, at least it saved me here this time, automatically. It didn't do that the time before, I don't know why. All right, blah, blah, blah. Wong Ho called. Yep. I don't know. Yep. Johnny? Mm hmm I? Okay. You should leave. Excuse me. He got lit up that time. Let's see, how are we gonna do this? I mean, we can try and just get out. You just run for the door. just a bunch of them you don't so like you don't get XP for killing things so oh, is that a book it's a book down there I think it's a book that I can get and then read gain great power and knowledge all right let's see if we can do some sneakiness around here Where is everyone going? All right, there's a dude there. Let's pop down here. See? There's a stealth kill. It doesn't have a special animation. The sledgehammer and the axe have the same sort of wild swinging animation. And then all the other one, the, the, all the swords have a stab through the heart thing going on there. I think we can stay hidden right here. Conveniently, the corpse disappeared. terrible at their jobs so we're just gonna trance those that we can't plausibly sneak up on and then stab them through the heart I mean if it works they got some weird patrol patterns I don't think you're making them that much quieter, dude. Are they coming over here because they hear death happening? I mean, he is in a sort of slower patrol thing, kind of indicating that he's, he thinks something's up. Hello. <laughs> Goodbye. 
So I've never, I've never shown that to you before. It is a way that you can kind of abuse trance. You can trance somebody and then stealth kill them. It doesn't actually help you hide very well, but that's fine. It's not what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to kill them without getting totally riddled with bullets. All right, I think there are two more left. Let's trance him, because we don't know how long he's going to stay there. And this last guy, we're going to try and feed on. Hey, friend. Remember, blood buff, oh, he's not very full at all. It'll get us a little bit more than we had. Oh, damn it. There are more of them. I forgot about that. Well, this is not good. Really? You couldn't see that? Moron. Yeah, so, I mean, there's a lot of stuff in this game that's a little bit... Uh-oh. Seriously? Like, this kind of stuff is really buggy. Hey! not a book, it's a car stereo. Lame. Alright, I think we've emptied this place out. So, let's leave. And you get some XP when you get out of the, uh, the Tong ambush as well. As you can see. So... Now we can go and help out uh, Yuki. So we now have 13 XP. We need three more to get to Blood Boil. Um, I think that's what I want to wait for. So we should get that at the end of this. Um, right. So this can be pretty tough coming up. Let me see here. I can't remember exactly how I want to do this one. Uh, let's go ahead and save. This may take a couple tries to get uh, done the way I want it to. All right, so uh, hello. Dozo. I'll go first, sure. Yes. Sneak, sneak through this open floor. Oh. <laughs> What's so funny, asshole? You're both here, my hunter and my target. This is very convenient. <laughs> so, um, this, rel this relays to us some information. So the hunter we know is uh, Yuki, and he indicates that we're his target. So obviously he knew who we were when we met with him in um, the, the Chinese restaurant. Uh, and we have been targeted, which makes me think that, uh, or indicates that perhaps Ming Zhao had a hand in this. I mean, who else around here would be targeting us? Uh, who would argue, who would um, hire this sort of assassin? 
Uh, now, of course, if we're suspicious of LaCroix, we could also be suspecting him. Uh, whomever we think is pulling the strings in a bad way, we might, we might suspect them. So it's pretty good that it's open in that way. Uh, convenient isn't the word that I'd use. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise. Ogami Yuki Des. I return you to uh. hell. Alright, so that there is um So He gets frozen. I'm trying to lead him away because he will kill her. I don't want that to happen. Hey. Don't get one away. not want her to die so that's why we saved so um, we might try doing this a little bit differently we will have to s we will have to deal with that uh, dialogue a couple of times unfortunately um, let's see let's go ahead and reload now um, we can put our auspex on and use that. So you can see. Dozo. Yeah. You can see uh, you can freeze him by shooting the tanks nearby him. You have to get him nearby a tank and then shoot him. Uh, and then that allows her to wail on him, allows you to wail on him. Mm, she takes a good bit of damage before she goes down, but you need to work pretty fast if you're going to let her live. And the problem is, she, he focuses on her, and that can be a bit annoying. Uh, what the hell are you doing? Where's Zagaina? You're both here, my hunter. Yeah, yeah. Convenience isn't the word I'd use. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Ogami Yuki Des. I return you to hell. Damn it. Is this close enough? Yeah, it is. get the headshot and you let the reticle tighten in you get the damage he will throw fish at you each tank only has one use so keep that in mind he will mess you up pretty hard if you let him hit you so you should avoid that So clearly, once you know how to work this, it's not that bad. If you try and melee him, that can go poorly for you. Um, so this is one instance in which uh, going for a ranged build is superior, or one encounter in which a ranged uh, hero is superior. So uh, you can see that way, sometimes if you can get him far enough away, if you lure him away, she'll start shooting him, and then he'll focus on you, and then you can just freeze him and then shoot him like that. So that was pretty easy. Um, you just have to 
get this fight into a particular uh, uh, situation and then it'll flow smoothly. It can be sometimes a little bit difficult to get it into that situation. So, let's talk to her. Hangeokai is in hell. My revenge is complete. Domo arigato gozaimashita, demon. Um, let's see. You can say a bunch of weird things here like, wow, bet you're glad that thing didn't have tentacles, huh? Um, what do we want to say? You can make a bad joke. What will you fight now? Defy your nature, demon. Man can suffer without your help. Sayonara. Uh, my pleasure. So, uh, you get some XP. I think there's some way that you can talk to her more before that happens. I think somehow you can get a sword from her. Oh, I don't remember. I don't care that much, and I have to do the fight again. Uh, so I don't want to do that. But we have the XP that we wanted, and now we can have blood boil. We have reached the um, epitome of our potence in thaumaturgy. Blood boil is pretty nasty. Uh, let's see if we got any blood. Yeah, because we stabbed some people. I'll get you some blood. All right, so now we know that we need to go to Johnny's club, Blaze, and that he has a really terrible security code. Oh, looks like they're finished. A negotiating price or something. Uh, I would have thought that that would, that would uh, be done beforehand. Let's go talk to Ming Zhao. I don't remember if she has anything interesting to say about the fact that you were, hey dude, you wanna talk? Um, she, whether she has anything interesting to say about whether the Hangio guy tries to kill you, but uh, let's go see. Um, I don't think you ever really get to talk to Yuki again, so let's get him. Do you seek guidance? I'd like to ask a few questions. What can I help you with? Um, meh. Yeah, I don't think we can get anything out of her about the hangout guy. So we should go to Blaze and see what's going on in there. Could stock up on some stuff before we go in there. Uh, I'm not too worried about it. Whoa, dude's gliding. Here's where we're gonna go. This lame password. I don't think there's anyone interesting to talk to before we get things started. They won't let you go upstairs right away. Oh, great dude. Moving a lot upstairs. Um, guess I'll find another way then. So you can go talk. There's a dude over down this way that you can talk to and try and get your way upstairs. Am I supposed to know you? I'm looking for Johnny. We've got business to discuss. You don't look like someone you need to talk to. Let's see. Fine, I'll just bring my merchandise to someone else. Johnny's in his office upstairs. You play with Johnny, and you're not getting out of here alive. Understand? Why, does he hate games? Uh, simply a social call. Keep your guns in your pants. I'm going upstairs. So that'll give us clearance to go upstairs. 
if we can tell this dude that. Uh, the guy at the table gave me permission. All right. So otherwise, if you just walk right past them uh, without having done that, uh, if he sees you, then you get shot up. Alright. Thugs. Office. Nothing interesting in here. And here's Johnny. Who the hell you think you are, asshole? Huh? You know who I am? You know where you are? You wanna die? Um, whoa, take it easy. What the fuck do you want, huh? Who are you? You ask a lot of questions. Um, I'm looking for somebody, and I heard you could help me. Who told you that? How, how, how would you know about that? Who are you? Answer me. Um, you don't know who you're dealing with, Johnny. Don't tell it a thing, Johnny. Shoot it. You told me that guy was a nobody. Just what the hell did you get us involved in? Shoot it. You'll find out. You're dead, asshole. What the fuck? I shot you. You're dead. That's exactly it, Johnny. It is dead. It's quite difficult to kill something that's already dead. And I assure you, it's not wearing a vest. The bullet entered cleanly through the lower abdomen. Don't listen to him, Johnny. I am wearing a vest. Normally, a bullet of that caliber would likely ricochet and tear up the small intestine. But as you can see, it exited cleanly through the back with little external bleeding. The reason being, its internal organs have atrophied. Um... Who the hell is on that TV? What the hell's going on? Well, what are you? Dispose of Johnny, and we'll discuss the matter of your missing comrade. Uh, tell me where I can find this man, Johnny. No, fuck you! Die already! <laughs> okay. You had to kill him, didn't you? It's part of your code of survival, covering your tracks, so to speak. And before you attempt to deceive me, you should know I'm Dude, monitoring how am I deceiving you? I just bit into a guy's neck right in front of you. Uh, who are you? I also must protect my true identity. You may refer to me as the Mandarin. You are, are searching you Iron for Man's archfoe. I have him at my facility. Come to the Fu Syndicate building. We will discuss terms of release. I'm coming. That's clearly not a trap at all. Um. So now we'll have uh, goons to deal with. So, that's a bummer. But, we got a fresh uh, boost of blood, so that's good at least. No one here. Don't worry about me. why that guy just ducked. Hey! These guys aren't quite as dangerous as the one. There is a guy with a shotgun. You're just in better um, terrain here. It's a lot easier not to get shot. Nice on me, dude. That's not wise. <laughs> Sorry, down there. Nice combat with you. No, that's not the guy at the shotgun. Maybe there isn't a guy with a shotgun anymore. Remember 
where they used to be, and that was sort of really terrifying. Oh, there he is. Have we gotten any more juice to drink? Eh, not much. All right, he has foolishly turned his back on us. Hey, hey. Oh, shit. Oh, ow. Get up. Get up. Ooh, 50 damage. Nasty. All we have to do is stand still. I guess. Oh, damn it. I thought maybe they had to stand still, too. Did that even do anything to him? Yeah, now you're dead. Oh, that was dumb. I was trying to see... So, they have a good amount of hit points. Um, that was just stupid. I should have been standing there trying that out. Blah, now we have to go through a bunch of crap again. Sorry about that. We just finished the fish thing. So, um, I'll actually, I'll cut this episode off right here. And next time I will try to less stupidly uh, deal with the, um, the club scene there. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed this. And if you have, please uh, hit a thumbs up on the video. If you would like to see more, then you should subscribe to my channel. If you're not going to do either of those things, then eh, I don't care what you do.